Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 79, Paint Mixing. Base Color, Highlight and Shadow. Here's some windows I did a few years back. And we are in Beaverton now. I'm headed to Beaverton Hyundai. Here's another one. You may have seen the video on that one. Here we are, Beaverton Hyundai. Welcome to Oregon's number one dealer. Clean Sweep 2015 clearance. This guy is coming down. Hey everybody, how's it going? I got a request from one of my subscribers to talk about uh, highlights and shadows and mixing the colors up and stuff. So I'm going to do some purple on this uh, on this jacket of uh, this rabbit. And so basically, I don't actually buy purple paint. I make it. I start with a, a blue. Oh, and here's my little key. I use that. When I run out, when I can't find my can opener, I just have it on my key ring. I cut off a little can opener thing. Anyway, here's the colors. I get a dark blue, and uh, I use that. And this this dark blue actually I got. It was a mist tint, believe it or not. I got it for fifteen dollars for that gallon, and it's a satin. It's a really good deal. And then this I bought a sample quart because I didn't want to buy a whole quart right now. I mean a whole gallon. So I got this for five dollars and something for that quart. And uh, you can see it makes like a super vivid, vivid purple when you mix those two colors together. If you mix just regular red and blue you get more of a kind of a plum color. But if you want a really vivid purple you have to start with that that really intense fuchsia color. So anyway, I mix it up, and then I mix. I put a little bit in uh, in another container, and then I take a, a third container, smaller one, the two small ones, and I put some in there too. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up with three colors. I'm going to use the dark color, in one of the small containers. I'm just going to leave it dark, and that's going to be the shadow color. And then this is going to be the highlight color. I'm going to add more white to it too. And then that in the in the larger uh, container, in the larger tray, is uh, it's going to be my base color, the base uh, purple for the rabbit's jacket. And this is going to be the highlight. And so I just kind of I play with the two colors the base color and the highlight. I leave the the color on the top right there. That's that's going to be the highlight. So I'm going to add more white to it. I just keep adding white till I get it how I want it. And the thing to keep in mind too is these colors they all dry about 15 percent darker than the wet color. So here we have all three. Oh, I'm going to add more white even. And I have lids for those so I can save these colors for, you know, I'm starting to do spring stuff. So, so here we have it, the base, the shadow, and the highlight. 
and this is the base color and I'm just using a brush I'm not going to use a roller because it's not a huge area that I'm painting so here I, I'm going in and uh, and even though I use that blue teal color I'm still going to use a shadow but sometimes just out of habit I'll outline it in that teal color outline the white and you can do this pretty quickly this is all in real time what I'm showing you right now it's pretty fast and you don't have to worry about getting it like totally perfect the first time you can if you want you can take your time but then it's going to be thick and it's going to take longer to dry which really doesn't matter because this is a large window but if you're doing a small job, you don't want to, you don't want to mess around like that. You want to do really thin coats, and this one's pretty thin. So that's the first coat of the base purple. and now I'm going in this is after I did some other stuff and it's dry and I just come back and once you do the second coat it's really solid and it's nice people ask me sometimes they're just like how do you get such vivid colors well you back it with white and you do a couple you do a couple good coats of the color you get a nice even opaque coverage it looks really good. I probably could have sped this up too. <laughs> Don't really have to watch it in real time, but still, I mean, it gives you an idea how long it takes. So it doesn't take that long to do a coat. Maybe two minutes a coat. So yeah, uh, one of my subscribers asked about the. Uh, the shadows and stuff and the highlights and I just usually put the dark color well sometimes I outline the whole thing with the color but I usually put the thicker part at the bottom because typically light is coming from the light source does come from the top but sometimes you know the light source comes from the bottom like if you're doing a volcano or an explosion or something and you would highlight the clouds with the yellow or the volcanic smoke coming up would be the bottom of the cloud but so in this case you can see what I'm doing I go in and I do the shadows first and, uh, and like I said I kinda really wispy like do outlines too and I don't always put all the color always put the color at the bottom but typically I like I said I do because this the light is coming from the top or coming from the side too A lot of times I just kind of make it up as I go along. Decide where to put what. Now I've got, and I can do this, I don't have to wait for the other color to dry. Now I'm going in with the light color. And it just makes it look really vibrant and kind of gives it a, a sense of roundness. You know, a little bit sense of three-dimensionality or depth. And those ones are kind of weird. They're not really, they're on the bottom of that one. So it's like kind of strange. But it still looks good. By the time I outline it with the black, it, you'll see when I trap it, it looks good. The other thing I did on this job too is I used uh, 
I used a lot of decals too because they wanted their logo flying through the air, the Hyundai logo, and that's why I came up with the kite idea. And then I thought, oh, I'll put one on an Easter egg and I'll also put one on top of the leprechaun's hat. But it was really windy that day and it was cold. So you can see the Easter egg has a little uh, Hyundai logo, a little decal. A lot of times I put the decals on and I just paint around them. Anyway, it's pretty long. It came out good. There's some spaces you can see on the windows where where uh, I didn't paint because they wanted to be able to see out. But these are all the characters and there's a little boy flying a kite. The logo again and some flowers. And Anyway, it came out really good. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Maybe tomorrow, another video. Ha, ha, ha.